Today, we are headed to look at five amazing luxury homes in the eastern Iowa area, specifically Iowa City and Cedar Rapids. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome to another episode of Fantasy Dream Homes. And today we're heading to Eastern Iowa. We're going to stop right there. And this is the state of Iowa right here. And we are going to the area that's between, it's actually Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. I want to say a couple things about Iowa City. Okay, so the University of Iowa is located in Iowa City. And some specifics about that. You know, it's about more than 30,000 uh, students attend the University of Iowa. It's a good sized campus. It's a beautiful campus. I've been there. And specifically, one, one of the things I wanted to highlight is the writers, what's called the Writers Workshop. And just uh, it's located right on Church Street, I believe. This is actually the buildings where it's at. So this is the webpage for the Iowa Writers Workshop, and they have an undergraduate program, but they're really known for their master's degree program. Uh, famous authors from all the, over the world and poets have attended this, and they actually have a page in journalists that tell you people like John Irving and uh, Tom Brokaw and um, many others, some Pulitzer Prize winning authors, like uh, John Cheever, yeah, John Cheever uh, taught there. They And they've had a lot of famous authors. I believe Stephen King uh, taught there for at least a semester. I don't know, but um, a very, very highly regarded uh, program. The other thing specific to the University of Iowa, and I'm not going to go into the story, but I'll have the I'll have the um, link in the YouTube link that explains this. There is a tradition in college football, one of the best, in my opinion, uh, traditions of college football, and it'll explain what this is all about. If you are going to be touring in eastern Iowa, we're going to recommend this tourism site. It will be in the show notes as well. And the real estate site that we are going to be using is Zillow, our old friend Zillow. So we're going to not waste any more time. We're going to get right to our first home. And what I invite you to do in the comments is go ahead and you're going to see a lot of similarities in these homes. And that can be because literally they've had the same builder or they're just used to seeing a certain style home. So this is Eastern Iowa we're talking about. This first home is going for $2.2 million. It's five bedroom, seven bathrooms, over 6,300 square feet, sitting on a good chunk of land at 5.19 acres. It was built in the year 2003. So let's take a virtual tour of this first Eastern Iowa home.
Okay, so our second home is going for $2.8 million. It's five bedrooms, six bathrooms, over 7,900 square feet. I think you could call that a mansion. I don't know. You tell me. It's sitting on a big piece of land, 26.69 acres, built in the year 1997. So let's take a virtual tour of our second fantasy dream home. Okay, moving right along, our next home is almost $3 million. It's five bedrooms, six bathrooms, over 9,800 square feet. It's sitting on another big piece of land, 27 acres approximately, and built in the year 1990. So let's check out this next fantasy dream home.
right. So our next home is going for through three million two hundred seventy-five thousand U.S. dollars. Six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, over seventy-three hundred square feet, sitting on over twenty acres of land, built in the year twenty twelve. Let's take a virtual tour.
All right, so our final fantasy dream home of the day is going for $4.4 million. It's five bedrooms, six bathrooms, over 9,500 square feet on a really big 60 acres of land. And it was built in the year 2002. So let's take a virtual tour of this beautiful fantasy dream home. Okay, so that about wraps up another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes. That was Eastern Iowa. And, uh, did you notice that uh, the building construction styles were similar? I don't know, maybe it was just me. Let us know in the comments. And we do encourage you to subscribe and comment, things like that. Any way you can participate to help us grow this community. We're growing at a snail's pace. We think that you like what you're seeing here. So please like, share, subscribe, and comment. 
Otherwise, we want to thank you so much and be safe during this pandemic. It's still with us. Be safe out there. We're thinking good thoughts about you. Take care. Bye-bye.